welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today, my dear friends, we will talk about the IGS gas system settings and what to be careful, what is the possible causes, how to adjust and how to make as much as possible a better operation of this system and a better understanding of what is going on uh, always and what is happening. First of all, I like to inform you that it's really, really important your subscription and also it's very, very important that you will see until the end all this video because it will contain a lot of information. First of all, I like to share with you that uh, in two vessels before we have uh, changed the unisap of the boiler and after that we needed to set up the parameters again one by one so before to do that we managed to take all the parameters and write them down uh, here so we took the official boiler parameters here and there was space so we added here some informations that will be really really necessary to set our system back as it was again so by all these reference that we have noted down and the initial we can compare uh, what was the settings and the differences or something additional which the maker uh, do not include here so we will talk about a question that have been made uh, one day before and a dear subscriber asked me about uh, that they have some problem that bridge called them and informed that there is a black smoke outside and how to adjust the inner gas system normally my dear friends it's not necessary to touch any of the boiler parameters the only parameters that we can touch is the fuel air ratio so if the fuel amount is much more than the air your boiler will be smoky because there is a, a different ratio there is a more fuel so there will be more carbon produced uh, through your funnel so as much as possible and a good indication as i have said also from the previous videos is your smoke detecting system and you must be able to determine that your smoke system is working properly and the side glasses and the sensors are clean so you will have a better and proper adjustment of this kind of uh, system so if your boiler are smoky, you try to reduce slowly the parameters of the fuel. This is one of the case to do that. And always remember that if your boiler also increase its uh, operation and loading performance, the curve also will be changed. That means if you change the fuel ratio, let's say and your boiler was working in 15 uh, percent fine it will not say exactly that it will work also in the 30 percent in the same uh, quality of burning this is a uh, different things so as much as possible try to adjust your boiler so will be until all the curve to be as much as possible inside the limits and how you will see that you will see that thing if your boiler you are smoky or not and also this is possible to determine from the flame how much uh, good is the quality of the flame the flame must be stable when you are looking from the top and also the flame must cover all the place around uh, the swiller must be equal distributed around the swiller which is also very important but there is some things and some operation 
uh, conditions that your bowler will be unstable and this is due to because a lot of people are trying to change the parameters of the bowler and always play with them and already uh, when you are already on board there is another settings of the bowler the only one thing that people should try to avoid on board which operate the bowler is as much as possible to adjust the things that they really don't know how they will affect the bowler by touching the parameters and I have seen that because a lot of people touching them and without knowing what they are doing it's really really a bad thing this is the most important the only thing that we can touch, and I repeat again, this is the fuel air ratio. All the other things, it will be uh, set it as much as possible with all the previous limits, and there is no any sense to change them. So the only factor that can contribute to your boiler normally without touching anything there is the air temperature of uh, the environment as the air temperature going to be cold that means the air became more dense and the density increases that means that more quantity of air will be enter uh, to your boiler but your settings your airflow settings is the same but now more air is coming inside so you will need to adjust the fuel air ratio so you will uh, decrease the air or you will increase the fuel amount that you will introduce to the boiler so you will keep the same air ratio as before so it will be nice if there was any kind of table for from the makers i have never seen like that so we'll give some instructions about uh, depends of air temperature and how the boiler will be affected by this system i have seen that one really and mostly if you are working uh, mgo fuels is really really changing with cold air temperature and mostly i have seen this in alborg uh, boilers they're really really affected by the air in the mitsubishi which we have uh, i have made two discharges one in the cold area in uh, five degrees six degrees air temperature outside okay let's say for engine room 18 degrees and for uh, the highest temperature that we have discharged was about 35 degrees something like that so just compare this difference and we have not seen any big kind of uh, problem of that one the only thing that we have seen in the last uh, discharging is the difference of uh, IGS system on the oxygen content we had with uh, one boiler with number one boiler if i remember correct with a higher uh, percentage of oxygen so a higher percentage of oxygen can also uh, doesn't mean direct that you have a problem with your boiler there is probably a suction of air and uh, due to our scrubber installation uh, there is also a possibility that there is a improper installation so uh, when the boiler is operating and uh, supply air through the fan it is possible that there will be suction from somewhere and uh, this air will go inside to the system and that's why oxygen analyzer will find this uh, problem so after the installation and after checking uh, the system was not uh, really find something uh, important but this was one of uh, the cases that really really affects the boilers uh, if you have any suction of air you will have higher oxygen content 
and with that you will try to adjust your boiler you will try to make it as much as smoky so you will increase the fuel uh, in your boiler you will add more fuel and that thing will make also some worse thing your filters of oxygen analyzer will be dirty so this is also a not good solution you must find as much as possible your boiler to make a good ig and to have a lower smoke density output on the exhaust gases this is the best performing boiler so the with the latest fuel that we have on board the exhaust gases must be crystal clear as i have seen to be uh, in operation and this is a good thing that uh, engineers also to be check the gases that they uh, expose to atmosphere during the port uh, or on the anchorage where the limits of uh, of these knocks and socks can be measurable by drones so always check that thing and always try as much as possible to not uh, make any big changes to your boiler so make it as much as possible more smooth any kind of set points and changes and be careful with that because uh, there is regulations it's very very strict and try as much as possible test your boiler before you going uh, in some discharging uh, port or try as much as possible to be ready and test it before everything uh, will be set for discharging or uh, some operation so bollards are really really important thing uh, to useful um, what we can say here we can say that uh, we have write down number one boiler number two you have see also the difference of color and i have keep these settings uh, this is all the settings of the boiler i have keep them so if i any time operate with albrook boilers i will know and this is also from my experience uh, what to adjust and what to see when the parameters are gone so sometimes yes it happened uh, it happened very rare but as I said, I have seen in one vessel, I have seen many, many papers of parameters. And one second engineer really have uh, some paper with a word and write it down previous parameters, now parameters. And he try uh, to adjust the boiler as much as possible to operate as much he likes, but was not really, really properly because he set some settings that really do not represent the manufacturer and was really really far from the manufacturer but as I have seen my dear friends as I have seen the most uh, thing that will uh, interact with your boiler and will give these changes is the air suction from somewhere from the system will really really make a big differences so after that if you see the oxygen is high what you try to doing you try to doing to reduce it so you set different parameters different settings and now your boiler are out it's out of the range of the operation curve so always take the manual check what is the operation limits of your boiler because uh, everything is limited uh, you cannot adjust uh, out of range the boiler because you'll have another trouble you will have over carbon through the system and through the exhaust gases system so next step uh, what you will have you will have a dirty filter suction filters of the oxygen analyzer and a good thing is always to make calibration of both oxygen analyzer so in case there is a need to switch over you direct to switch over on the other one and you will able to clean the filter always during discharging uh, observe the flow of the oxygen analyzer 
which is also also very very important thing and i have seen that most of the people that were working as third engineers never check the flow and there is a bubble a, a plastic bubble which stacks always and you have a false reading so first of all you must be sure that your readings are clear and after that you will be able to make any kind of adjustments uh, make both calibrations and when you make the calibration of oxygen analyzer make it twice so will be recalibrate and will reduce as much as possible the uh, false reference of the equipment so you will reduce it about 0.5 and 1 percent which is also a very very measurable data for the oxygen analyzer because as you know we are measuring from 0 to 21.20.9 point, uh, 20.8 so 1 percent also it's a measurable data and as much as possible try to reduce it and have a proper indication when we are, when we are talking in a 3.5 or 4.5 percentage of oxygen uh, presented on the inner gases so after that you will be able to adjustment uh, another thing that you can do if you have a boiler which you know that is not functioning properly you can set your uh, other boiler as master so you can avoid this kind of interaction and after that you will see what to do with that kind of uh, set points of the boiler or looking something else which interact with your system Another thing that it's really, really important is to have always your burner cleans, uh, your burner clean always, and also as much as possible to lubricate all the shafts of uh, the automatic valves there for the fuel and for the steam, for the air, because they became rusty through the time so we will continue more items and we will uh, introduce more information to the channel so i hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe and to share this video so more and more people will be able to join our uh, big community from adventure story uh, see you in the next video don't forget to get a membership and don't forget also to stay tuned from adventure story bye bye